And as Sally turns toward land tonight, local first responders are preparing for whatever devastation that this storm could cause here in Georgia. CBS 46's Brittany Miller live tonight with more on that detail of that story. Brittany, good evening. Good evening, and I did have a chance to speak with meteorologist Ella Dorsey earlier today. She told me that areas that normally flood will be highly impacted by this storm. And so as a preventative measure, we're going to see crews checking and clearing storm drains just like this. And actually, that's what we saw throughout much of today. Hurricane Sally is on the move. Georgia is getting ready. Hours ago, Atlanta Fulton County Emergency Management releasing this flyer with a list of preps, including prepare your go kit, secure loose items outdoors, and clear debris from storm drains. That's exactly what Cobb County crews did on Columns Drive today. We're out here today just trying to do some preventative maintenance uh, on Columns Drive to uh, ensure with all this rain coming in that we don't have to uh, worry about any roadway flooding. Meteorologist Ella Dorsey is expecting half a foot of rain in just 36 hours, putting low-lying areas at high risk for heavy flooding. Meantime, Georgia Power is keeping their eye on Sally's path. We've got the system worked down pretty good where we, uh, we watch and, and see where it's going and then are able to respond to get power back on as quickly and safely as possible. Georgia Power spokesperson John Kraft says right now they're informing crews and talking to their teams and they'll pull any resources to the area's hardest hit. Now, we do know that crews will continue to check and clear drains just like this tomorrow. In the meantime, Georgia Power says they're already talking to their utility partners and sister companies uh, in order to coordinate giving and getting help over the next few hours. Of course, we'll let you know how this develops very quickly over the next few days. We're live in Midtown. Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News. Brittany, thank you. And we are tracking Sally even when you're not on air. We can stay up to date with the CBS 46 streaming app. We have a dedicated section for the storm where you can get the very latest to track the rain totals and so much more.